I think Insight's partnership with Red Hat is, is very exciting because of the time that we're in. Um, you know, Red Hat is, has been around for a long time. They've, they've you know, created kind of a, a de facto uh, Linux operating system in the enterprise. Um, so a lot of organizations already uh, you know, partnered with Red Hat and consume Red Hat services. Many of our clients are in an interesting part of their journey where they've come to realize that the developer experience needs to be first and foremost uh, in their infrastructure and platform teams. I call it developer forward, and I'm a foodie, so when I say I'm a developer forward, I mean that in the foodie way, like you would say it's garlic forward or lemon forward. The first thing you taste when you consume something is garlic or lemon. Well, the first thing a developer should taste is that it's a developer world, all right? And one of the best ways we know on how to do that is by building a containerized, automated, self-service set of infrastructure, uh, such as you can do with Red Hat. But as we think about this DevOps transformation and, and containerized workloads, um, people moving to Kubernetes and wanting to start thinking about automation and how they can automate their workflows and automate deployments, Red Hat's really been stepping up in that area by providing solutions such as OpenShift and Ansible. I think that really fits well into how Insight's trying to help their clients transform It's a big buzzword. Every organization's realizing that they probably, if they're not already starting that journey, need to start that journey in order to stay competitive and, and, and maintain their customer base and maintain, again, that exceptional experience. Uh, but it's not an easy journey. And, and, and even if you feel like you're far behind, trying to rush too quickly to get there um, really only becomes a, a negative. It increases risk posture. It increases uh, the, the, the chance that things won't work as, as you expect and, and, and might even create you know, a damaging outcome. So again, really understanding what your outcome is, defining that first, kind of where, where do you want to be and, and, and why do you want to be that? And then starting to work with partners like Insight to start figuring out how do I strategize about that? What's my roadmap? How would I prioritize that roadmap? And set those expectations for how you can actually achieve those outcomes safely.